astral projection is a unique and personal art for every person. It is fascinating because people that do astral traveling actually do not consider the accumulation effect that happens when they are training to astral travel and how that happens as mind projection. What you're actually doing is you're creating the dimensions within which you're going to travel and you can create the context and you create within your starting point what it is you'll find within these dimensions. But the dimensions you are astral traveling in is only the dimensions that pertain to you. You are not in fact meeting or coming across any being that is existing in a dimensional existence. Demons, angels, human spirits, all of these type of things are in fact personalized. They are not in fact living things, they are only existing in your own mind and you have created them. And that's why they will always tell you what you want to hear or they will always be that which you want to fear. It's all within the context of your own design. The astral traveling you go through and uh, what you apparently feel is not real, you see, because you can only feel what you feel, that which is interpreted by your physical body through the mind. I mean... It is, in fact, just an electrical impulse, not real. You can go and do the equality equations about this to find out what is real or what's not, because as long as you believe in this bullshit and you actually try and expand this, you'll only become expendable. There is, in fact, no astral projection and all near-death experiences is, in fact, not an actual experience. It is one of the mind. It's where you are placed as the mind to give the body time to recuperate in extreme trauma. Otherwise, you would cause and interfere with the healing process. And therefore, you are put into a, a little entertainment point so that you do not affect the healing process.